I get this question quite often. What is the number one thing that I can attribute to my success in any area? My personal success, my mindset, my feelings, my health, everything. And I have one answer and in this video I'm going to show you how to have the most incredible focus. You might be sitting there and you have a hard time getting focused, right? You'll be at work, things will be going well, you start something and then you stop. You decide to go for a new goal and then you get distracted, you get discouraged. Out of all the infinite outcomes that could potentially happen in this world, you are focused on the negative ones. You are focused on the people that don't like you, the people that don't accept you, the outcome you're not looking for, how your company might fail and you're living in fear. Focus and mastering this one trait will not only allow you to have a better quality of life, but it will allow you to enter states of success, of happiness, of fulfillment, and absolutely crush it in any area. And why? Why does that happen? Well, I used to be extremely distracted. I was very reactive to my environment. You need to be proactive, not reactive. And the only way to be proactive instead of reactive is to master your focus. It is very easy. For, the one re for this one reason, our number one instinct is survival. So our brain is always looking for negative things. That is literally innately inside of us. What's wrong here? What's gonna hurt me there? Where is this gonna fail? How is that going to be a bad thing? And we get this habit of focusing on negative outcomes. And if you are somebody who isn't even aware of this, you now become a victim of your circumstances. Unless everything around you is perfect 24 seven, you have absolutely no control of your outcome, you will absolutely have zero success. The only way to overcome this is to master your focus, regardless of what information is coming towards you, regardless of what's happening in your life right now. You might be going through something, a breakup, your business might have just failed. You might have the worst day of your life and you still can change it and turn it around by mastering your focus. It is so easy to get distracted because life has its ups and downs. There will be people in your life that hurt you, that you know, fuck you over, that break up with you. Things end, people will die. Your businesses might fail, you'll get rejected, people might not like you, they'll judge you. So much shit can happen. But there is an easy fix and that is what I'm gonna show you in this video. Now, when I was 15 years old, this is the last year I was extremely insecure. The number one thing I cared about was what other people thought of me. I didn't care about anything else. Now, oftentimes we get into this limited paradigm. So take this pool, for example, as a limited paradigm. Imagine I'm a fish and this pool is an aquarium. Well, this is my world. I don't know what an ocean looks like. I don't know anything outside of this pool. This is everything in my world. When you have limited focus because you have a habit that gets you to focus on the negative, you still don't know, you still cannot see how to focus on the positive outcome. You're like, well, and this is the most, this is the most amazing excuse I always get. Well, Marcel, that's not realistic. It's not realistic. Well, no, it's not realistic to think about an ocean if you've only lived in a pool. I wanna take you out of the pool and throw you in the ocean to show you what's possible. You see, out of the millions of things you could focus on in the world, people tend to hone in on the few negative things happening in their life. And they take those few negative things and they project it into the future and then they anticipate how the future is gonna be negative. And from there, they get into a negative state and now that negative state produces negative actions which then creates a self-fulfilling prophecy where now because I'm in a negative state, I'm taking negative actions and my future then becomes negative. So what is the key to success? It is three steps. Three steps to success and focus is the power. It's a thing that, that is the engine behind all of it. One is set a goal. You gotta be focused on the goal. You have to believe in the outcome. Most people are confident that they're not confident. They're confident they're gonna fail. They're confident it's not gonna work out. They're confident that everything is not gonna go the way they want it. That is the worst possible mindset because it is poison. You are taking the thing you want and you are throwing it in the trash. And the reason is there's two parts of the mind, our conscious mind and our subconscious mind. Our conscious mind is what we consciously decide we want. I want to make a lot of money. I want to have an amazing body. I want to have incredible relationships. But we unconsciously fall into patterns. We unconsciously fall victim to beliefs and habits that then make us focus on negative outcomes and therefore we now go towards a goal we don't desire. You say you wanna get in shape, but you keep eating pizza. You say you wanna actually make more money, but you won't quit your job. You say you wanna actually commit to your success and grow, but you won't invest in personal development. Because unconsciously, you're focused on how it won't work. Well, what if it doesn't work? What if this doesn't work out? What if I fail? What if they don't like me? What, what if they think something's wrong with me, right? Well, maybe I'm not rich enough, I'm not old enough, I don't know enough, what am I gonna do here? 
All these things are a negative pattern and the brain is so resourceful at being unresourceful. Your brain is so powerful that when you hone in your focus and you say, this is the only thing that's going to happen. There is no other reality. There is no other outcome. The brain works some magic. As a matter of fact, the thing sitting between your ears is one of the most powerful pieces of, of intelligence in the entire universe because it can produce any outcome you want. Believe it or not, whether you believe this, this is the truth, whatever you believe is reality. If you believe that you're going to fail and you believe you're not good enough and you believe no one's going to like you, what do you think your life will look like? Reason is, if I believe this, I'm then going to filter things out. It's something called a cognitive bias. Let's say you want to make a lot of money, but you believe you can never attract a client. People will be like, hey, I want to give you money. And there's three things our brain does. We generalize, delete, and distort every piece of information. We generalize things so we don't have to relearn them. And it's just much simpler that way. So you might have gotten hurt before. One person said they don't like you. Now you generalize that and say, nobody likes me. Right? The second thing is we delete. We delete any piece of evidence that contradicts, that contradicts that one belief. The reason we do that is because that belief system is the number one thing that has kept you alive. Your brain says, well, if this has kept me alive, I'm not going to change it. So we delete any piece of data, and this is called a cognitive bias, that shows us contradictions to what we currently believe. And if it's right in our face, and it's in our face, we're going to distort it. Someone will be like, I really like you. You'll be like, they're lying. They don't mean it because you don't believe you deserve it. What a stupid way to think. Can I give you money? No, they don't really want to give me money. All you have to say is yes. All you have to say is yes, and you would have gotten it. Can, I, can you come hang out with me? I love you, I really like you. No, I need to fuck this up. It's too good to be true. I can't have it. And this is where focus comes in. If you want more confidence, you want more motivation, you want more power, you want to control your emotions, you have to control your focus. So I'm going to teach you how to do this. There is always two things our brain is constantly focused on. What's happening now and what's going to happen in the future based on what's happened in the past. So simultaneously, you're consciously looking for evidence now that supports an outcome you want. So let's say I want to become really successful. I want to get into a relationship and I get rejected or I get a piece of data or information that doesn't align with the outcome I want. All of a sudden, now that I'm not getting the outcome I want, my brain's going, oh shit, now I'm going to feel really, really bad about myself and it's not going to happen and then I get into a negative state. And instead of focusing now on what I want, I start to focus on what I'm not going to have or how it's not going to work out or how it's not going to be what I wanted it to be. Instead of finding a solution. You see, if you give up quick, you're going to fail quick. In other words, if I want to date someone and all of a sudden, you know, I see a red flag because my brain's looking for red flags and trying to prove how everyone I find is just going to hurt me or mess me, you know, fuck me over. The soon as they say something I don't like or they reject me or something like that, the outcome, the unconscious goal that I have about where this is going to go flips. It's called an RAS flip, a reticular activation system. That's what your cognitive bias is controlled by, right? RAS flip. It flips and now you're focused on the negative outcome. So you have to make sure you're constantly focused on the positive outcome. In businesses, when I come in and I start coaching CEOs or I coach executives or I coach business owners, what happens there is there'll be an economic recession or out of nowhere there's a pandemic and then they can't get business the way they got business before. So things start to change for them and their focus changes. They lose focus on what they were going to do. They're like, I'm going to make hundreds of millions of dollars. I'm going to be successful. Now the revenue dips. Things aren't working. The strategies they used before aren't working and their brain goes, oh my god we're on a downward spiral we're gonna fail because your end goal the end goal you have in mind has now changed even at the unconscious level you're not focused on how you're gonna pay your bills you're not focused on how you're gonna make all those things instead you're not focused and putting all your attention on what's not gonna work now why does this affect you well as soon as I focus on that I get into a negative state I start feeling stressed anxious and in those states I'm not resourceful I can't come up with solutions I can't find solutions to my problems I can't figure out what's wrong and how to fix it what I do and this is what I've done for pretty much since I've gained confidence, I know I have a goal. In my brain, there is nothing else that will happen. That image in my head, no matter what, no matter what, that is going to be my reality. So if someone looks at me and says, Marcel, no, 
you're going to fail. They don't believe in me. 10 people said no to me. All of a sudden, this isn't working. All I do is say, okay, how can I do something different? What do I need to change? What can I learn from that? That's going to be there. That's going to be there within the deadline that I set, within a year, within six months. I'm going to make it happen. And guess what? Every time I put 100% of my focus to something, I do it almost overnight. Almost overnight, I find the solution, I come up with a strategy, and I execute. Something in the strategy doesn't work, boom. I know I still got to make it happen. I adapt. I change. There are three steps to success. One, set a goal. Two, create a strategy. Three, be flexible. If you are focused on your goal, no matter what, your brain's going to become like a servo mechanism. Now, the problem is most people are focused on the wrong outcome. Therefore, they always get the negative to happen in their life. They're constantly getting the worst case scenario. They're focused on the worst thing that can happen, and then they manifest that by creating it through their actions. And you're not even aware of your actions. Like, no, that's not true. I don't do that. Well, I'll give you a perfect example. I went on a date recently, and I love this girl. I mean, I probably fell in love with this girl in, in an hour, right? And she just thought it was too good to be true. There's no way. And she sabotaged it. And how she sabotaged it was she told me, yeah, there's no way this is real. There's no way this is good. And started being really rude, really mean because her brain started to focus on how she's going to get hurt and how it's not going to work out. And what happened there is she just became super mean and she pushed me away. And I didn't want to go on another date with her because it wasn't nice behavior. Now, you look at the same thing happens in business. You start a business, you know, you're focused on how it's going to succeed, how you're going to get it going, how things are going to work, and you try to start something and all of a sudden now there's delays. You, you go to hire someone to build a website, the website doesn't come out as planned. Now you're low on your bills, you're not making money, enough money to pay your rent. And you start to focus on, oh my God, my business is going to fail. Instead of being like, okay, how can I make more money quickly? Can I hire a client? Can I, can, I mean, can I acquire a client? Can I, can I do something else? Can I go get a job in the meantime? Can I work on this in other hours? Like, can I find a solution? So ask yourself right now, am I focused on the worst case scenario or the best case scenario? Am I focused on what's going to be good or what's going to be bad? And I could tell you in my personal life, it's very easy because I'm young, I'm 23 years old. Uh, I'm one of the, now one of the most successful coaches on the planet, but it wasn't like this before and it will continue to grow, not because I'm lucky, not because things worked out for me. If anything, things always go against my plans. They never go the way I wanted them. They always go to shit before they get better. And if I didn't have this incredible focus, I mean this laser focus where I could just do whatever I want and I know for a fact it's gonna happen, right? That's the mindset, I know for a fact it's gonna happen no matter what, that's how I make it happen. Because when you know for a fact that no matter what happens in your life, everything you want you're gonna get, you'll feel good. And regardless of what stressful things are happening around you, if I knew for a fact that in the future, no matter what, this is going to happen, I'll feel a positive state now. I'll become resourceful. I'll keep my motivation. And I'll actually power through until I achieve and acquire my goals. Now, obviously, I could dive way deeper in this topic, and I will in future videos. But if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. And remember, all you have to do is focus on what you want instead of what you don't want, and that's how you achieve your outcome. You have an emotional compass. In other words, anytime you're focused on what you don't want, you're going to find you get into a negative state. You're going to feel bad. Whenever you focus on what you do want, and what you do want to go for, you're going to find that you actually feel incredible. And that feeling of joy, that feeling of happiness, that feeling of motivation is because you're focused on the right outcome. So get really good at focusing on what you want and ignore all the nonsense that takes, tries to take your focus away from what you don't want. And here's a metaphor or an analogy, whatever you want to call it, that I want to leave you off with before I end this video. Imagine you're a marathon runner and you're running down this marathon. And you know you have hours to go. And you're running and people are like, screw you. And they're trying to get you distracted. And as a runner, if you look to the left, you look to the right, and you're distracted, you'll start running there. And it'll slow down your time. You won't be ahead of the race. And you start to get distracted. So imagine you float out of your body for a second. And you walk up to that person who's running the marathon. And as they start to lose focus on what they want, on the goal, on the finish line, on everything you've ever dreamt of, they start to lose focus. They start to go there, right? Remember, where your attention goes, your energy flows. So you got to go there in a third person perspective, take their head and put their focus right back, right back on the finish line. And you find that they finish every single goal they ever had the intention to go get. So I hope you liked this video. Again, if you did, leave a big thumbs up, comment below what you feel and what you've been focusing on so we can help you improve and I can make future videos about that. And make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I will see you in the next video.